Bye. 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 Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sophia Beard. I'm a licensed esthetician in St. Louis, Missouri. I own my own aesthetic studio, which is where we are today. It is called Via Pele. I am also a lash and brow artist, so if you're interested in any of that, keep watching. Okay, so in today's video, I'm just going to show you guys a basic skincare routine. All skincare routines should include these five items. I have all my stuff right here. My sink is right here. So let's get washing. First things first, headband. I'm just gonna whip that guy on just like this. So I wear a headband because you wanna make sure that you're getting your whole hairline, especially if you get acne around this line. It's usually from either your shampoo or you're not washing this area. So definitely invest in a headband. You turn the water on and I start with Epiance milky lotion cleanser this i'm gonna actually clean my face twice this first one is to remove makeup this cleanser is really good for like sensitive dry or normal skin and then start scrubbing just like this get everywhere we're getting the hairline your temples or what's your your tragus, like your ear, your neck. Don't lie. I know you have makeup on your neck. Circles. A lot on the chin. Nose. Gotta get the eyebrows off. Alright. And then I have eyelash extensions, so I just go like, I make the funny face. And then same thing. I just use my finger so that I'm not actually getting it on my lash extensions because oily products will make them fall out. Alright, that was my first cleanse, so now I'm just going to wash it off with water. So now, pat your skin dry. Second thing I do, wash my face again. I use a gentle foaming cleanser for my second wash. This one is actually going to wash your skin rather than take off your makeup. Again, I don't have a lot in my hand. I don't even know if you can tell. Get your hands wet. The more water you add, the more your product will like emulsifies. So see how foamy it's getting. Rub those suckers together. Okay. And then washing so it is ideal to wash your face twice i understand that we're all lazy human beings however definitely make an effort to do this if you're wearing makeup because i guarantee you that first cleanse did not get it all off even if it did like i said this one is actually going to wash our skin and get into our pores, which is what we all want. Okay, well, I'm going to take this one off and be right back. All right, so I just washed off that second cleanse and now we are going to tone our face. I use Rose Petals Rose Water Facial Toner and I put it on these little SD wipes. You can get those like cotton rounds at Target, same thing. Just get those wet. You also can use your hands. I just don't because I feel like this way I know that I've gotten everywhere. Her, her, her. So then I just swipe, 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 chin, back down this side. Toner balances the pH of your skin, but it also will get off any extra makeup. All the time I have clients that come in and are like, no, I washed my face last night. I didn't put any on this morning. And I'm like, cool, perfect. And then I go to wash their face and my white towels turn orange because I promise you, there's still makeup on your face, okay? So get in there. Especially like right here on your nose, it's still there, guaranteed. Okay, 
right. Now my face is toned and washed. Um, the next step would be like your serums, your masks, but I'm not going to do that today. I do use serums sometimes, but not today. Next, we follow up with a moisturizer. This is a Beyonce Renewal Light Facial Lotion. Um, lotion is for everyone. You don't need a lot. You don't care how oily your skin is. You need lotion. So oil actually will, or like your skin will actually produce more oil can't even talk today. Your skin will actually produce more oil if you stop using moisturizer because it kicks your sebaceous glands into overdrive. That is what's producing your oil because it thinks that your skin is dry or dehydrated. So that's why I actually like this one because I do have like an oily nose. The light lotion, it's not crazy thick. You don't feel sticky. It dries in like a minute. Use it, just use it. Okay, so I just moisturized my face. Last step, sunscreen. Use my fucking right. All right, anyways, no. So our last step is going to be sunscreen. This one, can't say I use it every day. Not this one, I use sunscreen. Is Epiance's Ultra Shield Lotion SPF 50. I was using, or I'm bouncing around sunscreens right now because I was using Epion's Tinted Sunscreen and one, I loved it during school, but I was also like a constant makeup wearer. So I always had foundation on and I was really used to that feeling. And now I don't wear makeup, so that it's really thick like foundation and that feeling freaks me out. And then also, I don't know if they changed the formula or what, but I think it's pink all of a sudden. Literally looks like I'm painting my skin pink. There's no tan to it. So it's just not my shade. So if any of you guys use tinted sunscreen, let a hoe know. Okay. So again, not a lot. The good thing about these sunscreens is they don't leave a funky white cast, which is why a lot of people use tinted sunscreen. As long as you rub it in, you won't be white. Okay, so that is your skincare routine. All right guys, so that completed my skincare routine. To go back over it, every skincare routine should have a cleanser, if not two, um, the toner. I use this one because it is hydrating. There are other toners depending on what you need. If you work out a lot, I suggest a Beyonce purifying toner. It kills bacteria. It actually is really good to go over makeup, like it doesn't leave any spray marks and it's really easy to just throw in your purse and use throughout the day especially right now with COVID going on if you're wearing a mask all day it gets really hot under there and you can just spray that for a little refresh to prevent against mask knee which we all hate third would be your serums and I will go over that in a second fourth is moisturizer and fifth is your sunscreen all right, so if you guys ever are having questions about how to layer your products, the rule of thumb is thin to thick, clear to cloudy. So you want to use your thinnest product first, the ones that are more like liquid base rather than a thick cream base. Um, think of this as like you're putting on the thinner ones first because they're gonna get right in your pores and not create that barrier, not allowing any other products in. And then clear to cloudy is the same concept. The clearer it is, it's likely thinner than your cloudy, which is like your white products. Um, so for example, I have these three products here. This is the most runny one, so I would use it first. Then I have these two that are both thick products, but this one is just slightly runnier than this one, so that means that I would use this Pharmacy High Moon Glow before I would use my Ordinary Azelaic Acid. And those all go on before your moisturizer. Your moisturizer is going to like lock them in basically. I hope you found this helpful. All right guys, thank you for watching. And if you'd like more videos, leave a comment.